One more stride, he probably gets up to score. And he's been ultra consistent, got a bit of cavalier of form through the summer. It all looks good if you like cash me. Triple money is trained by Paul Shaler with Bailey Wheeler. An ex-Kiwi, probably maybe a little bit unlucky not to make it three wins in a row. One at Tamworth and a maiden. And then a Ballina win running second. He was a bit slowly away and he was held up from about the 400. Then set the record straight at Taree when he positioned beautifully and he clearly had a, a lap on the opposition that day. So he's the horse that we're going to try and measure that Northern Rivers mm. form with some of these. It's not an easy race, this one. It's a tough race. So I'm just watching today and see where triple money fits into the picture. Okay, let's look at the five then. This is So Bene from the David Van Dyke stable with Kyle Wilson-Taylor. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's going to measure up here and there by Hinchinbrook. Uh, so she can run a trip being by that sprinting side. But two runs since coming to David Van Dyke have been excellent. One here first up. And then good last start when chasing She's a Firecracker. Um, he just missed out. I think he's, well, she's really looking forward to getting to the extra trip today. All righty. She's a dandy is the six. Um, Jason Patton and Andrew Mellion. Yeah, she uh, ran really well here last start. That was in that Chase and Arty race uh, a fortnight ago. Held up at the top of the straight, um, but got through and, uh, it was costly. Now, had that not occurred, might have got up to score. So a repeat of that, we'll see her very hard to beat here. And Via Delamore is the seven from the Chris Wallace stable. Jim Orn Orman aboard from Barrier One. Yeah, she was also in that Chase and Artie race that She's a Dandy ran second in, and he settled around about eighth. But he, he sort of took off burning a long way from home right around them. Yeah, And he, he felt did. the pinch a little bit over the final part. Today, he's got the inside barrier, so I'm expecting him to go a lot better. It's pretty much...
have the five on top here to beat one. Galifianakis, who goes forward, gives you a sight from the front. Kashmi, his stable mate, and then number seven, Via Delta Moore, five, one, three, and seven. I've gone the way of Kashmi. I like both the Jack Bruce trained gallopers, but I, I lent his way. This is his fourth run in. We saw him run a couple, uh, you know, a couple of really good races over this kind of trip as a, a three-year-old in the eager way, and and then it was obviously maybe over the top by the time he got to the Grand Prix, but. Um, he's come back really well. I know he only won at Gatton first up, but it was a huge win. And then he was very unlucky, actually, at Rockhampton. He just couldn't get out. And he was um, close up behind Cronenberg here last time out. So I like the two kilos for CJ Graham. I think he's just in nicely with the 55 today. So he's on top for me. Galifianakis looked terrific. He's been clipped up. He's back from Saturday grade. He was terrific here two starts ago. Um, then I've gone the way of the six. She's a dandy. Terrific parade by this mare. She looks in great order, as did uh, Via Della Moore as also. And that means I haven't got room for, for so Benet or Benet. Um, however, she was covered in dapples and looked an absolute trip. I just thought she might be da- a little bit dour here today, but time will tell. Three, one, six and seven for me. As we come to you, Richard. Sacred feeling. She won comfortably. Ben Thompson riding for Tony Gollum. She was a long odds on favourite. This race bears a far more open appearance. With Via Delamore at 380, the favourite. Cash me at four. She's at Andy 460. So Ben A6 and Gollum for Arca 7. Marto, this is a race, only a field of seven, but you can make a case for any of the seven and be justified in doing so. And the market's been all over the place, but I think it is fair to say Via Delamore has been the best back since markets were released yesterday. Currently 380 on tab. Cash me and she's a dandy. They're both pretty solid at four and four twenty. So Ben eight just getting out to six. Galifanakis getting out to seven. No money for triple money at twelve and Master Marco at seventeen. Now they're loading. So Via Delamore's gone in. Master Marco is right. Triple Money has moved up. Galifianakis is in. She's a dandy has moved for. That leaves So Benet and Cashme to complete the line. With the rail position today, the distance is 2,040 metres. So So Benet goes up. Cashme last up. All in now. Set to go race two. The red light is on. Already, Chris Hurley, the starter with the button. They're off. Via Delamore jumped on terms. Master Marco began well. T triple money goes up outside that pair. Four out, she's a dandy. Five out, say Ben. And yeah, cash me six out. Who's going to lead? Galifianakis won't. He may not have jumped that well, but he's back in last position. Going by the winning post the first time. Now they pair off up front, Triple Money and Cash Me. Third on the inside, Master Marco. So Ben A will land a one-hour one-back trail in the early stages. The favourite, Via Delamore, is three back on the paint inside of She's a Dandy. And Galifianakis two lengths away in last position. Working up the side, just over 1,400 left to Rana. And the New South Wales visitor, Triple Money, calls the shots. And slows them down too. Leads Cash Me, who settled well in second spot, racing third, is the outsider, Master Marco, a length away, So Ben A, in four. Then Via Delamore, fifth inside of She's a Dandy. And I'd say at least three to Galifianakis at the tail end. Heading down the back straight, 1100 left to run. Triple Money just might have increased the speed a touch or so. Moves out with a margin of three and a half. Cash Me in second position, racing third, Master Marco. So Ben A, fourth the outside. No variation to the running order. Via Delamore, Tucked away fifth inside of She's a Dandy and Galifianakis now tacking on, but still seven off the lead. They reach the back bend, 800 metres left to go. Triple Money trying to do it all the way, but Cashby starts to edge closer now, cutting that margin down to three quarters of a length. Master Marcos had the boxing run all of the way, so Ben A ahead away in fourth as they reach the 600 metres. She's a Dandy ready to go outside of Via Delamore. Needs a bit of luck, the favourite. Park second last the rail, and Galifianakis two off last. Up to the turn, just over 400 left to run. Triple, 
April Money now being felt for as Cashmere looked to be going better. So Bede pulls out three wide. Master Marco needs a rider to the outside via Delamore into the open now. Then came Galifianakis and she's a dandy is coming down the outside. They're spread across the track. Cashmere reached the lead. Master Marco gets the inside run. So Bede Galifianakis is trying hard. He's winding up. There's four in line along the inside. Master Marco Galifianakis out wider. Galifianakis from Master Marco. Photo third. So Bede or Cash Me, then via Delamore. She's an Andy didn't come on, and Triple Money weakened to run last. Well, he's come from last, uh, Galifianakis, down the outside to get up and score. I don't think anybody thought that he'd be back last going past the winning post the first time. I think the intention was to lead. So we'll have to have a look at the, the start again, if possible. He's obviously sluggish out of the gates. Master Marco had the run of the race there, third the fans, so Bene every possible, and Kashmi settled in second placing and has finished in fourth, but Kashmi stable mate Galifianakis, gate four, sort of just sluggish. He went right down, didn't he, um, upon departing from that barrier, and you can see he's pushing him along a little bit. He's sort of half hesitant. He got a bit of a habit of doing this, so... This going forward, business certainly um, out of the question, but they seem to roll along at a good tempo. Bailey Wheeler on triple money was rolling along nicely. Cash Me um, came off the bit fairly early, and it was Galifianakis from last uh, getting up to score, Bernie. <laughs> Thanks, Maxie. Yeah, just catching up with Jack now. I was just telling Jack... I I was telling myself, stick with Galifianakis, stick with him, stick. And then I talked myself into your other runner because of the weights. Yeah, well, that probably wasn't a bad idea. They're hard to split the horses, but I, I'm sort of still getting over the fact that he missed the kick that badly and ended up last. And, um, gee, he was tough to win. That's a handy field, and um, he did a good job. So, yeah, fair play to Jake. He read the play and didn't panic, which is really important, um, and, and he got the money somehow. Yeah, and it took a bit of sort of talking in Galifianakis into staying at the back there as well. He sort of had to give him a few good tugs on the mouth. Yeah, he's not a, he's not a sharp horse. He's a grinder and he's a wind-up horse, which often leaves you a bit disappointed when they're at the back of the field. But, yeah, he was able to get clear air at the right time and he was good enough. So have you discovered something about him today? Yeah, possibly, possibly. Well, actually, when he was in Sydney and Chris Waller had him, he rode him back a lot. And um, so, we can, you know, maybe Chris was right. Let's just say he's versatile. Yeah, well, he's proven versatile and he's going to want to be as he gets up in ratings. Every time he wins, he gets another few points and um, it makes him harder and harder to place. So, yeah, fair play to him. We'll have to, we'll have to figure out a new strategy, I think. The other guys run fourth. A credible run. Um, might have just needed the run over the trip. I, I think so. Fourth up for the preparation straight to 2,000. He was vulnerable with 50 to go and, and, and that's, that's fine, but he'll keep. He, he's handy as well. Indeed. And he's probably even better off just... A, pair further but not that that was going to eventuate today but down the track yeah I, I think so I would tend to agree um he's run well ridden with a sit before and he's run well leading with a sit and he's won from the back at Gatton so um yeah he, he'll be fine another run under his belt he'll be doing the world of good you've started the season with a bang well done thank you very much cheers all right there he is Jack Bruce and he wins with Galifianakis the old chap missing the kick and ridden outside of his slightly outside of his Queensland comfort zone anyway but still too good Richard one beats two five and three Thank you. 